Hello guys, this is Alex Trevino and this is the fifth tutorial of the Laser Cowboy series. It's gonna be on Blender and Substance and in this video I'm going to explain the smoke simulation. In this tutorial I will be explaining the basics, the domain, flow, material, wind and the workflow between them. This to increase the realism to the project. The domain is the area where the simulation is located. The smoke cannot leave this area. The flow is the mesh where the smoke is produced. The material that we're we going to use is going to be principal volume BSDF. With wind, we generate a constant force in only one direction. To add a domain, first you need to add a cube mesh. With that, go to Physics, select Smoke, and then select the type Domain. To add the flow, it's almost the same thing. Add a mesh. Then again go to Physics, Smoke, and this time in the type select Flow. For the material go to the menu Material and add a new one. On Surface remove the Principal BSDF and go to Volume and add the Principal Volume. For wind, click Shift A and add a force field, in this case wind. And now I go to the physics menu and I increase the number of strength. If you click play and the simulation does not start, the thing that you need to do is save the file. After saving the file, also you need to go to the first frame of the timeline and click play. Now you have a working simulation. First go to physics and check that you have the adaptive domain option on, then make a simulation with 32 divisions. After that I use 64 divisions and see the increase of quality of smoke. Go for 128 and see that it has better resolution. But I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going down to 32 divisions and go to high resolution and first use one division in high resolution. Finally, I select two divisions in high resolution and this will be my last settings of the domain.
Now go to the flow options by selecting the flow mesh and go to physics. I only play with surface. If you have zero in surface, it will not emit smoke, but if you have five or 10, it's gonna emit a lot of smoke. So you need to test it out to check what is the number that you want. For the wind, select the force field and go to the properties in physics and play with strength. I start with zero and I increase the value in each pass so I can decide how much strength I need for the project. In this case I'm gonna use something big like 47. Now that you have the smoke that you like, go to Cache, select the frame that you want to bake, then click Bake. Now I select the frame that I like and make a basic lighting setup. After that I go to render mode. Then I check that I have the density that I want. One is pretty low, also if you put something big like 50, you're gonna see some errors. I go to the render menu and open light path and I check that volume is on zero, so I put a number of eight. I also will test it not only on cycles but also on EV, so I change the render engine. Then I go to volumetric. Select a tile size of two pixels. In samples I will use 256 and on volumetric shadows I'm going to use 128. In this tutorial I explain the basics of the smoke simulation, domain, flow, material, wind and the workflow between them. This to increase the realism to the project. I have uh, some free assets and also paid ones. The free pack includes a clay render and the laser cowboy bag ready to texture this last one. The limited pack includes a mapped scene so you can texture it in Substance Painter. The complete pack that includes everything that I told you before and also five materials made in Substance Painter. If you like this video, please subscribe. Next video, lighting in Blender 2.80.